Sergeant Kina here, reporting for duty. It has been some time since I've made a video about Valheim, because, well, there hasn't been a lot to talk about. Now, Valheim over the past week or so has been releasing videos talking about what's going to be coming in their next new update, the food systems that they've changed, how those food systems are going to interact with combat, and then like some small changes with sh uh, shields and things like that. And while a lot of these things I think are nice, um, the Hearth and Home Spotlight new food system video goes over how they are kind of separating food from from stam food from stamina to food with HP, and they're changing like the bar instead it's like a timer buff. Now, while it's fine, right? Like visually, it's a change. But it doesn't actually change how, like, your HP works. It's pretty much the same thing. It lasts 30 minutes, 25 minutes, 20 minutes, right? But at the end, you're still slowly going to gain your HP up to maximum. And as your buffs begin to decrease, your H max HP will begin to decrease. Which, personally, I don't really like that system. I feel like... Maybe it should taper off really close to the end. You start actually getting hungry. Or that it should just stay the entire time. And when the buff falls off, it starts to decrease quickly. That's what I think that it should be, in my opinion. Uh, these food changes haven't actually changed it that. Like, really changed the food system. I mean, yeah, like, some things are going to be more for stamina. And that'll be great for when you do things like building. Or you're running really far you don't have a portal or something like that now they do say that you know hp and stamina are going to be relating to combat meaning that once again to a heart and home as you go through if you have more hp you will have more max block if you have more stamina you will have more ability to attack now, while I think that the shield version of this is actually pretty cool, I think that, you know, tying max HP to your block value and making, instead of it just being a flat amount, they have a new, like, stam block value bar that they have to beat over before they stagger you. I think that's really cool. I think the alternative side with stamina is kind of a half measure. It's like they created this new system, but they only focused on shields. And stamina is like, oh, well, you can attack more. It's like, oh, well, that's fine, I guess. But, like, I think that it's not a good trade-off. You're, you're talking to use, have much less HP or a little bit less HP. And to be able to shoot or stab or slash or bash a little bit more, I think is not really a good trade-off. I think, personally, in my own opinion, that the... Stamina, not only should you have, you know, like, you have more stamina, you can attack more, I think that it should add to damage. I think that would be a good measure for the other side. You know, a lot of HP, you have more block, you're tankier, a lot of stam, you can attack more and you do more damage. Because, like, while you can attack more and that allows you to do more damage because before you run out of stamina, it's not really the same, like, bonus that HP has. In my opinion, I think there should be like the big tinky lower damage build, and then there should be the high damage with the you know ability to attack over a longer period of time, weaker like squishier build. And it feels like it's just like you have less HP, we don't really technically do more damage. Like yeah, you have a little bit more to work with, but I think comparatively those two systems don't really match up really well. They also did small changes to how actually shields work. They have separated the shields into a little bit better of a category. Tower shields uh, are now way more useful because mobs now have like a larger knockback effect. So this knockback effect is reduced a lot better with tower shields. Uh, and obviously they're still more powerful. They block more. So even though you're slower, you don't get knocked back as much. You're able to absorb more damage. Bucklers are still going to be doing the same thing as parrying. And then there's the a bit larger shields that are kind of a little bit in, in between. They have like knocked back a little bit less and you can still able to parry uh, from what I understand. Uh, unless they just wanted to go for like you couldn't block because they don't actually show them parrying here. 
So I guess you could still kind of block, but you, maybe you're not able to parry unless you use a buckler. So it's kind of like you just don't have that minus speed as much as a tower shield. Because what I played back when in the in the original before this update is begun to come out, I I went straight tanky. I just felt like if you had more armor, you were able to defend things. You were having a much better time. If you didn't take damage, and you were good, you don't die. <laughs> you know, as simple as that. However, if you were very good at at parrying, which I was not, yeah, obviously the bucklers are a better choice. But I think these systems, while they're like great, and it sucks that we've only had this one update since the game has come out. They obviously had a lot of bugs to work through, a lot more things. It ended up they bit off more than they chew, right? We were supposed to have like four or five updates this year with optional updates, and we're getting one. And it's highly unlikely that we'll get another one. Maybe we'll get two next year. They are hiring more people, so that'll be great. Uh, however, I feel like these systems, like, they've had all this time to build them, and it feels like it's just not enough changes. Maybe there's more stuff that they haven't shown off yet, but they just released a trailer, so I don't know if they're going to be adding more spotlights into this, because it's just these three things. I don't know. I feel like on the attack side, things are very much lacking. However, uh, I am happy that there's finally an update going to be coming from the game, because... Uh, as m many people did, they had a great time with Valheim. I had an amazing time with like 130 hours in the game. It's fucking fantastic, so I would love to sink more time into it. However, is this update going to have the teeth it needs for me to want to resync back into the whole game? Unless there's more. I don't think so.